with negative 70. So ladies and gentlemen, again, what we talked about, <coughs> when we're graphing an angle, we have a terminal side and a, and a I'm sorry, initial side and terminal side. Our terminal side is always going to be started on the x-axis, um, in the positive side of the x-axis. Now, we talked about the definition of a radian. When looking at a radian, remember you take the radius and you wrap it around. And we notice that halfway around the circle is going to be pi. And then all the way around the circle would be 2 pi, right? But now we have a whole number. So this whole number, it's not a degree. It's not 7 degrees. We'd have a little symbol for degrees. This represents 7 radians, so 7 of these. So I just got to keep on moving 7 times all the way around the circle. Um, but the other issue is we have negative. So one thing for you to remember is when you're going counterclockwise, that's what we call the positive direction. Remember, we're always starting on our initial side. It, this is for standard form, all right? Because obviously, we got to keep we got to keep everybody on the same page. So we're going to have a standard form. Here's your initial side. Counterclockwise is positive, so therefore clockwise is going to be negative. All right. So rather than going this way, now I need to go negative seven. So let's kind of erase these and see where exactly would that be. And again, you know, we don't need to be exact, exact. But if I take this representation, that'd be one, two. 3, right? 1, 2, 3. Let's see here. Um, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, these are all in the negative direction. Does everybody understand that? OK. So if I was going to go one more, that's going to be right around there. Right, as you keep on wrapping around. So what quadrant is negative 7 in? Four. Quadrant 4. And that's where you do it for a problem like that. OK? Does anybody want me to do one in degrees? Or do you guys usually, usually people get the degrees?